look almost human, Basil. <laughs> well, you can survive what they serve here, you can survive on anything. <sighs> How's the hand? Sore. If you like your pride, I'll bet. <laughs> that shit bucket needs to get what's coming to him. I need a favor. Oh? You still have your boat? Oh, I'd get a room here if I were you. Find yourself a nice gal and bed down until this whole thing blows over. I need to do a little research. Black hand supplies at liquor prices. Oh, what is a carnival <sighs> with no attractions, eh? I need to get across to the Moir Asylum. Just let me know when you want to go. I'll be there. Ah, ready to go? Now I remember why I don't like boats. Well, I hate swimming a whole lot more, so get in. Now, I'll take the oars. You row about as well as I can dance. Sure. The exercise will do you some good. <laughs> So, what does Aaron have to do with Moira? Do you believe in ghosts? Huh? Spirits. Uh, you know, the dead coming back to haunt the living. Punish them. You think Aaron's haunting you? I don't know, perhaps. I remember a, a ritual, some kind of an explosion. Aaron died. I'll never forget it. And everything else is gone. Ah, oh, come on, Garrett. I know you wouldn't have put that gal in harm's way. She'd have put herself there easy enough. There's an answer in here somewhere. I could feel it. This place has gone oddly quiet since there was a riot here. Some patients escaped. A few boats have come in, nothing has come out. Garrett! I don't know what you expect to find in there, but be careful. Don't become a ghost yourself. I've been a ghost all my life. Hey, what is up, you guys? Perpetual Pandemonium here. And here we are at the Asylum. I'm gonna go ahead and splice in uh, the videos introducing what we're doing here at the beginning of the video. I had some audio issues on the initial recording, and so we're just gonna splice this in. But let's go ahead and figure out this place. We're here to find our homie. I think it's Moira or Aaron. I can't remember off the top of my head, to be honest. This area definitely has a lot spookier of a vibe than any of the places we've been prior. Let's quickly run around and get a few collectibles. The hand mirror, the plaque. Also, I have figured out how to use the focus now. Now, what do we have here? Let's run around on the other side and check it out. Now, this place is, is massive. It's probably the biggest level. What the hell? Okay, as I was saying, it's probably the biggest level I've uh, played so far. Hmm. Okay. Seems someone's expecting me. Spooky. Ooh. Let's look in here. You shouldn't be here. Uh, okay, 
so I need to watch out for that jump scare, but uh, sorry if it got you. Aaron was here. We're going to quickly loot this place. Let's see. Uh, no visitors, no visitors. Patient number 63 received Lord Abercrombie. No visitors. Patient 18 received her patron. Hmm. All right. What do you got in here? Nothing. A pocket portrait. That's... I can think of another pocket word. That ends with a P. Alright, let's check these out. I always do that. I lean into cover or whatever. Oh my god. So I feel like a lot of times it's kind of unrewarding to open all of these drawers because so many of them are just empty. And there's also so many drawers to open. Okay, let's keep it moving along nice and quickly here. Okay. Sprint our way on up here. Anything up here? Quickly pick the lock. Hopefully we can get a good amount of stuff here and maybe we can buy some abilities after this. I think that sounds nice. Because I've really kind of been, to be honest, I've been slacking on the uh, purchasing of abilities. Oh, young female admitted by the state, delivered in her guard, condition moderate, poor, numerous abrasions and broken bones, arrived drugged and unconscious, instructed to keep her that way, due to extreme violent tendencies when not sedated. Moved to women's ward, central seclusion, for observation and treatment, Nurse Aubermill. Okay, nurse. Got some skizzers. Alright. open all these drawers just as fast as we can and maybe we can find some additional information because the first run through I did this place I did not check and find what I just found I didn't know you could even find additional information like that so I'm glad I'm actually stopping and slowing down just a little bit through this area okay anything over here no keep it moving along nicely in fact I went through the uh, this door last time but I didn't really check any of the Me playing a bit of ball. There's something down there. Oh, that was not nice. That noise. All right, let's check this. Oh, spooky! Missing a key. Baron's locks. The women's ward key has been relocated to my desk in the men's ward. The dancer had been sneaking out to steal it and torment the linguist. If you need it, which you shouldn't, come and see me when I'm on duty. Dr. Stedman. So, so important to him in an asylum. as we heard about in the little introduction uh, Looks like I video. I need to have myself committed. Voluntarily, of course. <laughs> uh, as, as I was saying, as we heard, ourselves, as we heard um, in the little introduction video, uh, this place had arrived. So, looks like all the doctors and stuff are gone. Now, isn't that spooky? See, my first go through this place, I did not see that. This is kind of, uh, I'm kind of glad I'm coming back through here, actually. Rope arrow, nice. Sometimes you gotta shoot ropes. Alright, let's see here. Patient number 63 has been sneaking out of her seclusion and creating disturbances in the men's ward. The vent from the showers appears to be her point of egress and has been sealed with threaded screws. We have a screwdriver that's good to know. Observation will determine whether this measure, measure was successful or not. Nurse Aubermill. Aubermill seems to be an ever-present character with regard to um, the treatment. She seems to be, like, maybe she's a head nurse or something like that. Absence. Let's see, what do we got? Huxley, I noticed that you've been absent quite frequently of late. I know the shifts in reformation are difficult for you to bear, but we almost do our part to ensure the well-being of our most grievously ill patients. I've also noticed that lately you appear to be limping. Get Dr. Stedman to look you over. We need all our nurses in top shape while our patron is on the prowl. While our patron is on the prowl. And we heard mention of patron earlier with regard to the guest list. Now, that that's interesting. That is interesting. The double mention of patron. Go ahead and open this door up. Well, that was spooky. Ok, 
keep it moving. Are those floating? No, okay, it just wasn't rendered in. What the hell? History 4. Let us not forget, however, that the care of the mentally ill comes with a price. We must pay it with our care, with our patience, and with our blood. For it is our blood that these poor creatures come, and it is to us that they owe their particular sen or peculiar sentiments. Take, for example, the master sneak thief, so attributed to these times of woe. He is a man sorely tempted by that which to him does not belong, a misplacement of desire to see the world in an order which it must not deviate from. All right, interesting. Is he talking about us? Or is that a more general... Indictment of sneak thieves worldwide. Let's check through the lock. Ooh. He sees us. Come here, buddy. Well, hey there, neighbor. He's got a really good skin. Let's pick the lock. Woman in or okay. Hey, where did you go? I'm gonna close this while I check this other hole because it's freaking me out, man. Okay. And through here. Hey, that picture was not there actually before. Okay, so I do think there is... There's something out of the corner of my eyes that I do think there is something supernatural in this world. Like, I, I think that this world allows for the supernatural to exist. Nice mouse. Makes me think of the dogs at the poker table. Fanny? I'll take this. Thank you. Repulsion of civility. Jagged red script covers the back of this canvas. It's hard to make a decision when the ties of life keep shuddering. Say, or stay, go, stay, go. Arrows make the best letters. Interesting. Moving along, we'll come back to this section last. We'll check that room out last. First, we'll go ahead and just clear out all the rooms. Make sure we get all this stuff. Making, making fast movement while we're at it. Anything in here? Nope. Move it along. Okay, an elevator that we cannot use. Moving right along here. Some spoons. Oh, hey, that's the key. This should get me into the female ward. Oh. What's our buddy doing there? Oh, yeah, see, he just despawns. Cache. Found a special cache today. Left by someone like me, little pieces of copper coin as old as the city in the strange painting. We think the same way, so there must be more. There's a noise in the walls sometimes. A clicking that sounds like my heartbeat. I have to have it. I will have it soon. All right, interesting. Moving right along. Hey, you closed my door. That was unkind of you, sir. Night warden on duty. No loitering in the halls. No noise making in the rooms. Keep doors closed. Okay, sir. Relax if you don't mind. <sighs> Holy shit, what was that? See, some of this stuff is still new because I moved through here so badly. 
first time patient 29 is showing remarkable progress following the removal of patient 18 from the women's ward. He has become both tractable and agreeable. One could assume he is almost his normal self, though I admit I am keen to see him in the treatment center for further study and analysis. His condition is not currently severe enough to warrant a transfer to reformation. However, if we were to resume his previous percussive demonstration of anxiety, we must never forget that the bonds of mental illness are both invisible and insipid. He may require treatment yet. Dr. Huntsfield. Alright. Let's finish this. Hopefully I don't get jump scared by another noise again. There we go. Okay. That's it. A little... Always hidden must be no. What the hell? Hey, dude. Stop talking real creepy like... Nice pen. Benjamin Franklin. Not coming from in here, is it? No. Okay, let's open up the dope. Look inside. <laughs> Let's break in. Let's go say hi to him. <gasps> he disappeared. Don't sleep. Oh, so spooky, dude. Okay, now. Where are these guys disappearing to? Because unless it's like outright, like I'm straight up crazy. I mean, I guess I am in a mental asylum, but right? unless that's the case, you would expect me to be able to find them every now and then, right? If they're real though, that's the problem. If they're real, if being the operative word. Okay, give me that teacup. Thank you. Oh man, I was really excited. I thought that's Jesus. I thought that stupid banging had gone away. Whoa. Oh shit! What the hell? I guess the banging's gone now. Okay, there was... I for sure didn't see anything. I'll leave that was trippy. Some okay. Kind of patient. Double lock's been placed in the archivist door, archivist's door as various supplies have gone missing. He's How he's getting out, I don't know, but I suspect the watchman has been helping him. I've relocated the latter from... M10 to M2, so the two are no longer neighbors. That should quell the shenanigans for a while. Dr. Stedman. Kent, if you got hold of this key. Already got the key. Send a thief to catch a thief. Sounds a good to me. Now, I wish I understood how the mechanic of that really loud knocking worked, because I didn't understand what just happened. Room numbers. Okay, nothing important. It's so trippy, even though I kind of know to an extent what's going to occur here. It's still freaking me out just a little bit. Like the atmosphere of this level was done pretty phenomenally, if I do say so. Boy, say so myself. What you got up here for me? More skizzers. Okay. Now let's, I guess, sprint back this direction. Why am I hearing that banging again? A 
don't understand the mechanic. J -j -j Jesus. Okay. Well, let's go check out down here. Okay. Because I didn't come down here last time. Should I be sneaking? Is that what I'm supposed to be doing? I mean, I guess it is a sneak thief game. Hey, okay. Now see, this is why I need to sneak more often. So my hey, okay, it was about uh, that, um, that great, I can unscrew it. The voices are getting louder. Every time I go near her, they start screaming. My hands are shaking so badly, I can't even sign the register. What do I do? My hair, my fingernails, my teeth. It's like I'm falling apart. I can't go down there again. I can't keep doing this. Dr. Stedman will understand. I'll explain myself and get transferred back to the city. Everything will be all. Ooh, he's dead. Now let's find out what's in here. Hey, rat. The quietest grate. Okay, so at this point, I'm clueless as to my location. This area is all new for me. Okay, let's keep it moving along. Yeah, I never came through here. <clears throat> And this gives us this. Okay. Never mind. I know where we're at. I was artificially confused. Now, how do I find the map? Okay, so we're still down a level, but we have one more level down to go still. That's for sure a person right there. Not a mannequin. Okay. Oh, and they're gone. Okay. Well, not a fan. Okay. Entertainment. The three skit re re review. Ladies' Choice. An opera in five parts. Felicia's harp scored honky tonk. Summer's Day celebrations and dinner with Dr. Stedman. Oh my good lord. What the hell? Okay, can I? Is this guy just invisible? What's going on here? I don't know. I don't know. And I don't like it. There's blood there. Watch, he's gonna hit me again. Can't even see the bastard. Let's get out of this area. Freaking me out, dude. 
Oh, okay. This music doesn't help either, to be honest. Making my way downtown, walking fast. Perhaps there are some kind of medical records that could tell me more. Okay, well, that spookily doogliness just then was unnecessary. Now, okay, take a peek, I guess. Oh, hey, more uh, spooky eyeballs blinking at me. Don't like that. Not a fan of that. Okay, what is it? Melancholia is the symptom most reported by today's caregiver, which there is a remedy both simple and effective. It requires the application of extreme heat to those areas of the body which may, to the touch, have the feel of clamminess or wetness. As for the dry areas of the skin where we might find a vigorous unbecoming of moral flesh, the repeated subver submersion of the patient into a vessel containing water no colder than an eighth of a degree above freezing Jesus shall draw from the body part of the very obstinacy that so afflicts its owner. The original ice bath douchebags. Now, is my leaving of the doors open triggering that guy to... Oh, hey, dude. Creep ass. Oh, I want whatever that was. A lot of syringes here. Unbecoming behavior, if I say so myself. All right, what you got for me? Aggression again? All patients have been exhibiting increased aggression as of late. We had similar instances last year when patient 18 was in the central seclusion. Those have ceased with her removal to reformation. Still, the behaviors occurring now show different disturbing similarities. Patient 82 actually growled at me when I brought her in the meal this morning. A child should not be able to make those noises. All we can do is continue to provide the care they need. I will not, excuse me, I will not be responsible for sending any more patients to Huntfield's Abattoir. What does Abattoir mean? I'm not smart. Uh, there's demons in the corners. The patient was found to have drilled holes in the wall again. Move the patient. Insist that her presence is accidental and she is sane. Recommended lobotomization of her delusions continue. Uh, where's 45? Did they mention 45? No, okay. Dr. Huntfield continues in the delusion that he should have put to have jurisdiction of the entire asylum. <laughs> they really don't like that guy. Okay. Get our loot. Already got a over a hundred from here maybe even almost 200 and patient transfer it pains me to confirm that your inquiry but in fact patient 18 will undergo procedure in room 3f as you fear thought we'd close the door in that room before is years ago subject classified for selective experimentation on the instruction of baron northcrest himself this is the last time i assign a patient over to the treatment center they need doctors not butchers Huntfield will be taking over this subject in all aspects. I pity the girl, Thurlow. May she find peace somewhere in her madness. Nurse Auburn. You told them you were in trouble, but what did you do? Show me. What didst she do? Where the hell the hell? There we go. Alright. Let's hop down. Rain from the glass. Hey. That's spooky. I don't like that. Go ahead and take a pop here real quick. Eat that. Alright, what's this? Okay, my talking voice for reading is... <laughs> 
about done. If y'all want to read that, go ahead. God, I'm always so nervous going through these sections. Okay, descend to the treatment level. What's this? Confidentiality agreement. Okay. Run through here. Win the door. Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> well, that's not that cool. All right, let's go. Oh, hey, 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 hey. I saw you. You know what, though? I did not see that guy the first time I came through. That's interesting. That is interesting. Okay. I think I'm dead if I go down there. All right. Okay, yeah, all these rooms are filled with crazies. Okay. That's creepy. Oh, shit. <laughs> They're hurting me. There's too much pain. Bill forgot about that one. What you got in here? Hello? Okay. And in here. Okay. Hey. You know, I gotta say These this. doors need power. It's probably Whole a generator level is just down here an somewhere. aggressive change of pace. From what I'm used to in this game. I get like this horror. Essentially is what it is. Like it's just one big horror level. Open up. Flash bombs. You got some flashbangs? Okay. Good to know. Elevator lock. Hmm. The elevator's currently open. Access. Install a locking mechanism. It's just for the safety of those rooms. Save your patience here. Comes with us and gets loose. Get you whatever clearance you need. Okay. So the gate has some sort of locking on it. Avery, leave quietly. Ignore the oil and glass. They're for your protection. Light a torch and meet me at the docks. I don't know what they are, but if one of them sees you, set the bastard alight and run. I'll wait for you. T. Who's T? T Pain? Chada he? Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. On a boat. Don't you ever forget. Oh, shit. God, there's a damn trap there. I'm angry. Extracting the primal. The ritual is to harness the primal suffered. The ritual to harness the primal suffered a terrible setback, but perhaps there is still hope. The energy merely entered a weaker vessel than the one intended. I cannot see how this is possible, but there must be a way to return it to the stone. The sorcerer's stone? Okay, what do you say? <clears throat> Sensory deprivation. Okay, that's just talking about this room. It's a sensory deprivation room. 
just spooky and dark, basically. Ah. Another syringe. Man, somebody be partying in here. Okay. Health. It's good to have. Creepy bastard. Hello. Thank you for the loot. I Man, this has been good for my loot goblin. Loot goblining. Calibration. Piercing the veil that masks the window to the soul can reveal the path to wellness. That's creepy. Okay, some stuff up here that I don't care for. Don't show him you're scared. Don't let him see you lose control. I wanted to stop him. I wanted to save nice. myself, but they won't let me wake up. I need the primal out of the girl now, but do not let her die, no matter the cost. You understand the fear, don't you, Garrett? The fear of being trapped, of being used. Quickly! She's corrupting it! See? Oh, I ruin everything. Primal is dangerous! It must be controlled! No! It's no good. I'll take her back down to the prison level. Alright, that was creepy. I thought you died. But it was worse. You did steal the Primal that night. Now the Baron wants it back. He spoke about the prison level. Looks like I'm going even deeper into this hole. Hey. Hey, pal. Move away, please. God, that is so loud. Good night. Nice hearing, dude. Oh, I guess we could have come through here. That's interesting now. So we could feasibly do all of these things without making a noise. Oh, nice. You like his hearing from him. Hey, buddy. Wasn't anything after all, I guess. Thank you, sir. Let's look this up. Hey, Doc. Ah, I don't care enough to go down there for a magnifying glass. A flash bomb. Excellent. Okay, yeah, we could. Can we just go through all of these vents? Yeah, it looks like it. All right, that's useful then. Spreading like oil. 
Shut the hell up. Okay. What did you write on your wall? Shock therapy. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a moment of pain can make a lifetime of well-being. That's creepy. Okay, can't get over there. Just let's move along, move along like I say you should move along. Okay. Now, they said there was something about a locking mechanism with this, so... I don't like that noise. Hello, what are you doing? That's creepy. Take the lock real quick. Okay. Things I do for my homies. Like, would any of them ever do this for me? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay. Wow, this is like straight up dungeon type stuff. Okay, we already have fire arrows. Well, that's right, we light them on fire, whomever it is. Oh! It's kind of funny because he's all blue. Now I did see in a tooltip or a hint in the loading screen, one of the loading screens that they can tell the freaks, is what they call them, can tell when you're using focus. So I have to imagine that these are the freaks. Surgical scissors. Let me in. Oh, hell no. A new focus point, okay. All right, intuition is already upgraded. Dexterity, pickpockets, visually detect noises, stun an opponent, increases speed of actions. I might do efficiency. Okay, effect does not require focus vision to be activated, okay. That's pretty useful. Let's... Let's do this one. Be super duper stealthy. Okay, so that guy ran in there. We're going to ignore him. I think we're gonna turn that light back on because they seem to not like it. Prison rules. Do not approach patients. Do not speak to patients. Disregard all claims of sanity. Patients are restrained for their own protection. All right, creepy. Creepy. Was Aaron really held down here? I should check all the cells. Okay, let's check all these drawers. Maybe we can find out which cell she's in and cut that process short. I would prefer that because this place is creepy as hell. Nice syringe. Aggression. 
Patient 11 exhibits increased aggression and agitation when patient 18 is being wheeled past his room. He attempts to touch her and never get far, but his struggles are violent enough that they pulled one of the anchor hooks from the ceiling of a cell. This will require further study. Okay. Okay. What's this? Oh, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, I was hoping I could use that to maybe get up there. Oh, there's nothing up there anyways. So what the hell are these frog croaking noises? A nice visual glitch. I've seen my share of prisons in the city. Nothing like this. Okay, so I'm obviously not enthused about this. Okay, what is rope? Why is it letting me get up there? I guess let's go ahead and use them since we've got them. Okay. I won't act like I'm not freaked out right now. I have. Oh. What the hell? That's a bunch of creepy noises. Okay. Oh. Hey, buddies. What is that? Is that a bear trap? No, that's a vase. Okay. Vols. Good night. Find peace. Oh. A mechanical one. Wow. Okay, now what I want to do. I'd really like to see if I can't, uh... Oh, you know what? Let's do this. Where is it? Throwable. Really? How did that creep, though? Now, I wonder. Can I just... Oh, well, now he's alert, so I need to wait for his alert status to go away. But I'm wondering if I can just walk straight through the middle of them. What are these guys? They're so creepy. They look human. Are these the patients? They might be the patients. Alright, I'm going to wait around because I have no idea how long these guys stay this pissed off for. If it takes too long I'll just make a jump cut. Okay this is taking way too long. I'm going to try something very crazy here. Okay. Hey that freaking worked. What? Okay. Not letting me get down there, which is kind of irritating. Fingers crossed this works. Going to walk very, very slowly.
How the hell? How did that work? It looked right at me. Through me. I don't think it can see. Oh. Now that's good to know. Okay, now I'm very scared because this is all brand new territory for me. Okay, so we definitely need to keep it very quiet. This feels like prime jump scare territory. Also, that looks like a trap. It's a trap. dead right. the poppies arrive on silver trays and I'm falling into darkness Sort of dreams. Dream sequence? Every time I breathe, it hurts. Ooh, look at those claws. I want to stop the voices. It's always the right choice. How can I breathe when there's death everywhere? <laughs> Thanks for the poppy. Thanks for the poppy. Thanks for the poppy. Creep. Oh. Something's wrong with the prisoners. Yeah, that's an understatement. Was this like, um, Garrett? Where are you? The angels from Doctor Who, or whatever. Hey, dude. You were the one I thought I could trust. we go follow me to the truth okay dude I would love to but I don't know where to go guess let me eat this poppy as well get all hide up okay there's gonna be someone behind me again changing what's happening They deserve to be punished. How do I get up there? Okay, I gotta go to the second floor again. This level's creepy.
Okay, so it's in there. Hey, buddy. Bunch of pictures of me. Got a fan club. Nice to know. Creepy bastard. Now where? The problem with these types of missions is I'm dumb. I have a hard time completing them. Okay, do I go back in here? No, but I will close that, I guess. Did I miss something up here? Maybe I should have hit the uh, fence thing. Oh, come on. see that. Okay. Oh, hey, buddy. Trying to give me a little pat on the back. Say howdy. Close the door on you. Okay, this is, this is for sure a jump scare. It's gotta be. No! Quickly! Keep her away from the fighting! She's too important to die in this rock! Too important to be allowed to die. I wonder if they understand the pain. She is our future! The Northcrest bastard stole me away. Are you with me, Garrett? Someone's gonna die. Crazy. Only one way to find out. The Baron. Back to Northcrest Manor. Back to where it all began. Oh. <laughs> I'm a predator. Okay. The Forsaken. Nice trophy. 46%. That's crazy. I looted so much shit and I only got 46%. Wow. Wow, that was a good mission. That was a spooky mission. Let's see what the, the cutscene after this is. Oh, there's not one. Okay. The following night. All right, so it looks like next episode. If the Baron has Aaron, then I need to break into Northcrest Manor before the mob does. It's time I got some answers. You could not have done that better. He told y'all what I was going to do next episode. All right, man, that was a good episode. That was spooky. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I hope y'all also enjoyed it. Sorry if uh, there was too many jump scares, but that was a little, seemed to be mandatory. But uh, hey, like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more. Appreciate y'all watching to the end if you did. Thank you so much. I will see y'all next time.